mm-hmm. for the controller itself. Right. I always tell people if you're looking and just see which controller might be best for you, honestly, it's all preference. Even in the FGC, it all comes down to do you want to use a keyboard like controller? Do you want to use a, you know, the classic arcade stick or a fight pad? It's up to, all up to you, man. It's all up to the Buffer from Mars to see what he's going to be able to do against Key Kane and Rob, who caused quite the terror a couple of the last time you saw him. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, in this matchup, Rob doesn't have to be too committal. I mean, w- the big thing about the PSI characters is that they can get trades off of you if you try to commit a little bit too hard, and then they can blow you up if they get one good interaction off of a mistake or anything like that. Yeah. They really punish uh, pressing buttons much more than other characters. But, I mean, Rob can be... Oh, wow, that was tragic. Actually. Yeah, the, that was really didn't, tragic. didn't get picked up. I guess short character is not quite going to work that time. Nice. One thing that Muffin loves to particularly do is make sure he has the buffer spacing for Zare, PK Fire. And we kind of saw him earlier retreat from the ledge to immediately cover the use of PK Fire. But fortunately, King K is going to go in and rob of any of those plays and take the first spot. Wow, the side B. The 20% actually, I mean, that opens up for a lot of stuff. And you can tell Muffin from Marvin is trying to be aware of like that laser that he has potentially ready. But he's been not going for it. And there, when he has the pressure available, then he starts going for the laser. And then knows that he won't go for PSI Magnet that time around. Mm-hmm. Like it goes for PK Thunder, he immediately becomes the horizontal option. Robs usually stay horizontal until they go low. Gets the parry on the up smash because of the... All right, that time he's just mixing up his recovery, using that fair to make him hesitant throughout down smash. Very smart. Oh, and we got oh, the no. setup that he was looking for in that other game we saw, where you bounce him back off of the gyro and get the up smash afterwards. Might be using PK Thunder here. Who doesn't? Who knows? But I like it. Shows his back. Really good opportunity. Set up for a back air or even another option. Just catch a whiff. Back throw. That'll do it. That's one thing you got to be careful from Zara. It can lead to another Zara or a grab. The best way you can do it is the base of the Zare, the very, very tip of the snake. Um, if it hits you, you can DI away and then set up yourself for a touch. Ooh, wow. Just called out the roll immediately. Figuring out that he would be a little bit too shaky and then try to go back into the center stage as quickly as possible. Very smart stuff from King K. Now he's going to be a full stock ahead, actually. I mean, Muffin Jumar is definitely making sure that full stock ahead is not going to feel like much, but that get-up attack is something Muffin should have respected because now King K powering his way through. The one thing I like that King K does is that he forces Muffin out of the shield or he just forces him into tech situations. He's really good at going for, like, up to up to as we saw earlier, so he can force Muffin to jump or down to for a tech situation in general. He's not going to be able to get any kind of carry with PK Thunder. Up oh. smash out of shield. Very nice stuff. Still continuing on and attacking on the occasional damage, but there we go. He's finally found it, but it be, might be a little bit too little, oh, too late. Already poke. making up that damage. No jump available now, oh, and he no. seals it off with the side B. King K taking the first game over Muffin from Mars. You can tell that Muffin immediately when he got one, he expanded his jump there. He was going to try to go a little bit low because he knew King K might have been going for a lot of those projectiles, but the minute that he sensed that he's like, no, I'm going to take care of him before he has a chance to make that up recovery. Mm-hmm. And Muffin is usually used to making it from such a very a low angle that way if you try to go for like a block or an edge guard or a back air he knows he can get the stage tech or he just makes sure that he doesn't get countered so far this rob i mean is awfully aggressive actually he's just, he is it's not like the type of rob that just sits back throws dryo and laser over and over wadi, it's, it's, man. it's like wadi, the, the soul and spirit of wadi is still here all right here we go though <laughs> immediate laser just to stuff out his approach very nice stuff Ooh, looks like from Mars is kind of not getting the right execution on that uh, full hop uh, Zare train. Not quite executing it properly. Good PK fire uh, would have would have been a great option, especially for the tech case. But keep it safe. That's going to be the one that takes the stock. Wow. I actually blinked, and I thought he was going to survive that. But no, he just went too far off stage. Very nice stuff. No jump. OK, there we go. He's able to make it back just fine. Jab, goes for the Zare, tries to oh, miss the execution there. You can actually carry your opponent across the stage with the way that Muffin Mars is going to go for the Zares. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just not quite getting the Zare out in time. It's just a, it's a very tight window, but you get a lot of reward off it because of the corner carry like you yeah. talked about. But I think Muffin from Mars, I don't know if he's a shook or what it is because I've seen him do the, the Zare trains very, very reliably. So oh, maybe it's just one of those things where King K is just playing okay. so fast, he doesn't have the opportunity to really make sure that it's like, oh, right, I have the opportunity now. Now let me go for it. And then he just messes it up, you know? Oh! Oh, oh no! no! He doubted himself with a spot dodge. Ah, that's what, that's what kills you, man. When you when you actually let go of the shield, you should have been going for the parry, and then if not, go for the spot dodge a little later. 
man. What a read there. That was that was crazy stuff. All right. Not only that, he had time to go from possibly like a jump out of shield if he timed it right, but it's still a lot of risk either way. Mm -hmm. I think he was just afraid of the shield poke, so that's why he went for the spot dodge. But angle the shield. Regardless, yeah. Yeah, was... angle the shield, man. You're able to do that, and sometimes what a lot of players seem to forget. That was a zero chance I'm telling you, man. Gets to that easy corner carry for almost for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he was looking for that time. Finally, he's able to execute one, but will it be too little, too late? Because already King K going in, gets another side B. Will he clip out the jump with this gyro? He gets rid of it and another side nice. B. He's good. He's good. On he's stage. Good. One more time. Goes nice. for the high recovery, actually. Good but option he, there. Yeah, he's still getting caught, though, on the roll. King K looking like he's going to close it out against Muffer Mars very soon. Okay, that time that time he rolled away. He, he had the room on the stage to be able to do yeah. that. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's yeah. It. And the minute that he used the side magnet, it's when usually when you, a lot of uh, Lucas's like to go for a jump, and then that's what ended up happening. He kind of caught the jump afterwards, and that's how King K was able to get those two stocks that way. Yeah, King K putting one on the board for Texas, I believe. He's hanging out with the T Lock guys, so that's what I'm assuming. Yeah. So yeah, very nice stuff. I think N might be from uh, Texas, Texas too, well, because yeah. they're, just, uh, they're just all hanging out. It's kind of funny because Kimono was the only one I saw Come yesterday, on, yeah. uh, but today they're all showing up and they're uh, hey, they're taking some names here today.